I'm no expert coder, but I do have a laptop with an internet connection and fingers to mash the keyboard with, and along with help from ChatGPT, an AI chatbot, I'm an expert coder. This advanced AI can create custom programming code based on your specifications. For example, I told the AI I had an LCD screen and a soil moisture sensor. Not only did it write the code, but it also told me how to wire the modules to the Arduino. This AI could be incredibly useful if you have little to no knowledge on coding. Simply tell the AI what your hardware is and how you intend to use it, and it does all the hard work for you. Stick around to the end of this video because you will not be disappointed. This video is proudly sponsored by JLC PCB. I've been using their PCB manufacturing service before they became a sponsor of my channel. I've used their printed circuit boards in several build videos and I've always been impressed with their quality, speed and low cost. Prices start at $2 for 5 printed circuit boards, so wave goodbye to Vero board and take your projects to the next level with a custom PCB from JLC. So what are the benefits of using this AI bot to do your coding? Well, it could potentially save you hours typing away manually making the script yourself. Um, if the bot proves to be quite proficient at creating a script, there might be little to no debugging required. So let's get right into it and see what this is about. So here's their website. Now you will have to make a account with them so that you can log in and use the chatbot. However, it is completely free to do so, at least at the time of making this video. So let's click on Try Chat or GPT. All right, let's start off with something basic. Let's ask the AI to create an Arduino script that randomly blinks an LED. The LED will be grounded to pin D3. Shut the front door. Good grief. What a thing. So let's just review what happened. All as I said was create an Arduino script that randomly blinks an LED. The LED will be grounded to pin D3. That's all the instructions I gave it. It returned, in theory, a working script that performs that function. It also commented what all the commands do in the script so that a human can understand them and modify the script if need be. And then it also, right at the end, explains what it's done and the functions in the script. If this works, this could just be amazing. All right, let's hook up uh, an LED to an Arduino, uh, flash it with the code and see if the script works. I then copied the script generated by the AI and pasted it into a new IDE sketch. I selected the correct board for my application, which in this case is an UNO, and selected the corresponding COM port it's connected to via USB. I then uploaded the sketch to the UNO. So pin D3 is connected to the cathode uh, of the LED. We've just got a resistor uh, that will allow 5 milliamps to pass through the LED, and then we've just got 5 volts out from the Arduino to the LED. So let's plug it in to some power. See if it works. Wow. Do my eyes fool me? That is a randomly blinking LED. This is just mind blowing how easy this has made coding. Far out. I wonder how far we can take this. Like, you know, it, you've got things that are really, really complex scripts like Marlin software used to run 3D printers. I don't expect it could code that, and if it could, it would take an immense amount of parameters. Like you'd have to sit there and give detail by detail all the inputs and outputs. So I don't know if it can be used for super complex sketches, but really there's only one way to find out. So let's try something more advanced. So here is what I asked. Create an Arduino script 
based on the following parameters. Pins D8 and D9 are input pins with internal pull-up resistors enabled. Pin D10 is an output pin which normal state is low. When pins D8 and D9 simultaneously go low, pin D10 goes high for 2 seconds. After the 2 seconds, D10 returns to low normal state. While the timer is counting down, if D8 and D9 return high, then go low again, the timer is reset for another 2 seconds. I would like to monitor in real time the state of pins D8, D9 and D10 in the IDE serial monitor. And this is the result. Once again I copied the AI generated script and pasted it into a new IDE sketch. After uploading it to the UNO, I connected the UNO based on the specifications I provided the AI. However there seemed to be an issue. The LED was on pretty much all the time and would only go out briefly when I grounded the input pins. And here's where things get crazy. So I go back to the AI and said there seems to be a problem with the script. When pins D8 and D9 go low, D10 briefly goes low, but not for the specified 2000 milliseconds. This is the response. I apologise, you are correct. There is an issue with the script I provided. As if this wasn't crazy enough. Not only does the AI apologise, but diagnose the issue, then fix the script in a matter of seconds. Oh boy. With the new script uploaded to the UNO, let's see if the AI fixed the issue. So we have our LED here of course. The orange leads are my two inputs that I can manually ground. Um, so if I just ground one pin, the LED stays off, good. If I ground the other pin, the LED stays off. If both pins are connected to ground at the same time, LED comes on. And it stays on for as long as those are connected. Once they're disconnected, it turns off. Now, if I connect both of these to ground and just keep pulsing them, it keeps resetting the timer. So this script is functioning exactly how I intended. So let's see how far we can take this. Let's make things a little bit more complex for the AI. I have here an LCD module and a soil moisture sensor. So let's see if we can get the AI to generate a script to monitor the soil moisture sensor and output the value on the LCD. And I would also like to challenge the AI um, to tell us how to wire everything to the Arduino so we don't give it the parameters we're just saying we have an Arduino Uno we have this LCD we have this sensor you figure the script out and tell us how to wire it let's give that a go and here's what I said please create a script for an Uno based on the following specifications I have a 1602 LCD module and a soil moisture sensor I would like the soil moisture sensor monitored and its value displayed on the LCD screen. Please specify how the LCD module and soil moisture sensor should be wired to the Arduino Uno. And here's what the AI came up with. Not only did it write the complete script but also told me how to connect the LCD and sensor to the Uno. I didn't tell the AI that the LCD module uses an I2 interface. So I asked the AI, the LCD module has pins labelled ground, VCC, SDA and SCL. How should they connect to the UNO? Based on this new information, it correctly identified the LCD was using an I2 interface and updated the script accordingly. Once again, I copied the AI generated script and pasted it into a new IDE sketch, then uploaded it to the UNO. Alright, well the proof is going to be in the pudding. Now we have the Arduino uh, loaded up with the new sketch. Uh, we're going to follow the AI's parameters for connecting the LCD and soil moisture sensor to the UNO. See if it works. Yeah. 
Now I could power this from the USB or a power adapter, um, but I'm going to use the Tiki Station. This product was sent to me, no obligations uh, to use it or review it. It was just sent to me and the fella said, uh, well, if you find a use for it, um, good for you. I think this is quite a cool uh, little power supply. So you've got several different voltage outputs here. You've also got a custom one that you can adjust through the trimmer here. Um, and you can unplug this module and plug that into your breadboard if it's compatible. Otherwise you can just use this uh, breakout board like I've got here. So that's what I'm going to be used to power the Arduino. Um, and for power input options, you do have several. I'm going to be using uh, USB Type-C. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's power up. Oh my goodness. Um, will it work with my hand? It, it does. It does, it works with my hand. And look at that, it's even got soil moisture. It could have just put a value there, but it actually says soil moisture. Oh, man, this AI, I don't know, man, it's, it's cool, but it's pretty scary. I feel like I could really be replaced quite easily at this point, but damn, that is cool. So I don't know about you, but I am nothing short of astonished at how capable this AI is. To recap, we got it to write three scripts from us for us based on very little input from us. Two of the scripts worked flawlessly out of the box. One of them needed a tweak, but that was absolutely no trouble because all as we said was, we've got a problem, and it went, oh, yeah, sorry, I'll just fix that for you. You upload it, boom, it works. And I would imagine things could get way more complex and it would still cope just fine. We could have multiple sensors, multiple user inputs, encoders, LCD screens, and we'd just go, yep, all good. Here's how you wire everything. It's just incredible. And really, I think in one sense it's scary because it feels like we're being replaced as humans. But the other thing is, I think this is really good because it's opened up coding to a whole new group of people that don't either have the time or the knowledge to invest into learning how to code. But now they can go down to the electronics store, pick up some modules, pick up an Uno, tell this AI, this is what I have, and it will tell them how to wire it. And here's your script for you, hand it on a silver platter, just upload it and it'll go. I mean, it's just incredible. And then if things don't go right the first time, you can use it to troubleshoot. So I'll leave a link down below for chat GPT if you want to check it out. And also the Tick Station power supply. I'll leave a link down in the video's description. Other than that, thank you for watching. And, and hopefully in the next video I'm not replaced by an AI bot. So hopefully I'll see you again. Bye for now.